What's up guys, my name is Serum C. Coy. Welcome back to the Edmonton Oilers franchise. We are just about at the end of the season and that is where we will be simming to. The end of the season, we don't really have much hopes of really anything honestly. Um, kind of honestly hoping we don't do too great just because I kind of want to get some good draft picks. Um, you see that we are just, you know, if we win and Calgary loses, we will be over them, but they also do have a game in hand, and we're going to take one quick look at the entire NHL. And you will see that we are at the very, 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 very bottom three. With the Sabres, no surprise, and for some reason the Chicago Blackhawks. So, that being said, and hey, Montreal's down here. What is going on, NHL? So, with that being said, you know, we're, we have a potential to get a good draft pick, but means we'd have to lose out but at the same time I don't really agree with the whole losing out you know tanking for a pick so we're just kind of gonna see how this goes um, like I said we're gonna sim all the way to the end of the season in this episode so against Vancouver we finish so let's get it going we start out against LA their second place uh, time okay waivers uh, let's see it's a goalie let's see what you got McCollum Oh. Alright, I see why they dropped you. You don't really have reflexes or anything. See ya. LA. Can we beat LA? The second best team in our league. On the trade deadline. In our division, not league. We beat them! 2-1! to Alright. There we go, Edmonton. Good start to the episode. Now we're not going to have to worry about being bogged down by trade deadlines, so that's pretty cool. Chicago. They're one of the worst teams in the league. Don't know why. Can we beat them? Come on. Can't, and, and we lose to Chicago. All right, there's some logic for you. Moving on to Carolina and Detroit. Come on, let's beat Carolina. Overtime loss to Carolina. We get a point out of it. Detroit. God, I want to beat Detroit. I do not like Detroit. Oof, like, wow. 7-1 to one loss to Detroit. Alrighty. Then we got a doubleheader against Pittsburgh and Columbus. This is never easy. Can we beat Pittsburgh? 33, 30, and 4. They're not having their best season. And we lose 4 to 3. Come on, team. Come on, that's four losses in a row. I know I said I want a good draft pick, but damn, you guys are taking this tanking thing way too seriously. Come on. Oh my god, 5 to 2 to Columbus. I need to see what's going on with my goaltending situation. Oh my god. We can't win. Are you going to send. Oh. I need to see what's going on with my goaltenders. I I realize whenever I look at stats, I actually never go to goaltenders. So I think I'm going to actually go to my goaltenders this time. Give you guys a little preview and see who's doing horrible and who's not doing horrible. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, we're still Edmonton. And goalies. Kind of scared. All right, Ben Scribbins played 47. Allen's played 27. Scribbins a 2.36, which isn't horrible, but he's 14, 23, and 2. Allen's... <laughs> ugh. Uh, both have a pretty shitty save percentage. Um, there's those three shoutouts for Scrivens. Um, Yeah, so... Not exactly our best... Um, best goaltending. That's definitely something I plan on focusing on in the offseason, is picking up a good goaltender. Um, I'd like to believe that Jake Allen can be the goaltender of the future, but right now he is doing anything but showing me that he is that guy. So, alright, let's keep this going. Keep the simming going. Toronto, they're kind of good. Can we beat them? Come on, let's not make this, what is it? This would be six losses in a row. Can we not do six losses in a row? Finally, we snap the losing streak with a win. And then we go up against uh, Columbus and we beat him. Andrew Ferentz is available. I didn't know he was out. So let's just best lines through that. There we go. Got a two-game win streak. Can we keep it against the scumbag Flyers? Come on. Whenever the sim decides to get there. Come on, can we beat the Flyers? I do not like the Flyers. You know, if we can get 30, 30 wins, maybe 35, that'd be pretty cool this season. I think 30, 33 is my realistic goal. A 3 nothing shutout win against the Flyers. Love seeing that. Winnipeg, come on. Let's beat them. Let's beat them. We're on a three-game win streak. And we lose 4 nothing to Winnipeg. Sounds about right. Come on, can we rebound? Let's not go on another five-game losing streak. That would be great. We could not do that. We lose versus Colorado. All right, here it comes. <laughs> here it comes. And the schedule just does not get any easier. Dallas, Colorado again, Anaheim, and LA in a doubleheader. Oh, boy. 
come on. Another loss. Oh, we're at three in a row. Oh, come on. Not even a week later. Can we beat Columbus? Come on, guys. Please. Let's end this season with some dignity. All right, let me edit your scouting assignment real quick. Or I'm going to send you to the QMJHL, and I'm just sending you there for the rest of the season. Apparently, I can't do that. Well, I want you to scout goalies for six weeks and just stay there. Don't come back until you have me a good goaltender. Come on. Let's not make it four in a row. Let's beat Colorado. Come on. Oh, they're really good. A shootout loss. Come on. At least we got a point out of it. But still. All right. I, I take it back. Can we just get 30 wins on the season, please? What happened there? A loss. And we beat LA. Oh, no. Chris Letang is out with a concussion. That just seems all too realistic. Wow, that's like spookily realistic compared to what happened this season. Okay, well that's going to be a big hurt for us. We get a win, but we lose Letang. So, I mean, was it really worth it? That's a, that's a good question. Um, come on, Calgary. We can beat this team. They were just barely ahead of us in the standings. Ben Scrivens has an injured thumb. Oh my god, you must call up a player. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Tanger's out. Apparently Scrivens has a hurt thumb and he can't play with it. Come on. I don't even know what our goaltending looks like in the bottom. Oh, not very good. Who's this guy? Bachman. You're 27. <sighs> Alright, there you go. Edit lines. I should have just gone to best lines. Best lines. All right. That take care of that problem. Oh, my goodness. This is end of the season as if it couldn't get any worse. Everyone decides to get injured. Come on, guys. LA, please. We beat them earlier. Can we beat them again? And then against all these divisional opponents. Come on. Oh, we lost to Calgary, too. Come on. Oh, lost to LA. Come on, guys. Scrivens is back. Let's get him back in there. San Jose. Come on. They're not that good. We're not even going to get 30 wins this season either. That's uh, that's disappointing. Come on. Oh, a 6-1 win versus San Jose. All right. And, of course, Nikita Nikitin is injured. Oh, my God. These guys are ridiculous. Literally, the month of April just killed half of my team. Come on. Let's finish it out. We won at home in our very last game. Now let's win on the road. 6-1 win for the fans at home. That'll be a nice little boost. And we shut out Vancouver to end the season. Um, Okay. I need to send down that goalie. Wow, what a uh, what a season! Uh, where is the next thing that occurs? Well, let's uh, let's look at some season stats, see who led the league and whatever, and uh, see who's going to the playoffs. All right, so we finished we finished dead bottom in the division. Let's go look at that first. Dead bottom in the division. You see that LA, Arizona, and Anaheim both make it into the playoffs. So do we not have any wildcard teams going? Interesting. So it seems like the, uh, not the Pacific, but whatever the other division is in the West. I'm not a huge Western Conference guy. Apparently they're in. Uh, Calgary ended up having a four-point margin on us. Oh, it's the Central. Okay. Okay, just about everyone. Wow, the Central is really strong. A 93-point team didn't make it. 116, 101, 99. Wow. The Jets and Chicago both didn't make it, but St. Louis, Minnesota, Dallas, Nashville, and Colorado are all in. Let's check out the Atlantic now. Tampa, apparently, I believe Tampa, did they have the... Oh, no. St. Louis has won the presidents. All right. Tampa, Toronto, Florida, and Boston. Oh, this makes me really happy. The playoff streak is over. Detroit Red Wings fans... You can just stop talking about it now because it's it's no longer a thing. The Red Wings, their playoff streak is ended. And if we go to the Metro, the Penguins streak also ended. So I believe if Boston is in... Okay, so Boston Bruins now have the longest active playoff streak. That's interesting. Penguins out by three points. So we got the Rangers, the Hurricanes, Flyers, and Islanders. What? Alrighty then. And let's see in the entire league. Let's see where we are sitting at. Where did I go? Entire league. I know that we're down here near the bottom. 
We are the worst team in the NHL. Give us Connor McDavid. All right. Well, everyone, there's three teams at the bottom with 69 points, but I'm pretty sure we have the least regulation overtime wins with only 23. Send us McDavid. Let's go. It is draft time. I don't know how bad we actually need McDavid, though, because we already have a uh, dry sale. Oh, man. Things just got interesting in the Edmonton Oilers franchise. Tanking for McDavid. Let's do it. Okay, so I fixed that problem. Now, let's uh, let's go farther. We're, we still have plenty of time in this episode. Let's let's just keep simming. Um, well, let me see the playoffs. Is that I forgot? I wanted to also check player stats. Uh, is it not gonna? Okay, player stats. Let's see how this ended. All right, so let's start with just our forwards. We see Nugent Hopkins, Everle, and Hall both broke the 20 goal margin. Hall leading the way with goals. Nugent Hopkins on assists, and then 64, 51, 51, and then there's quite a drop off to the second line. Um, let's see if anyone, you know, managed to go positive. All right, a minus 23. That's that's kind of rough. Nugent Hopkins finished with a plus six, so I guess that's not too bad. Um, check our defense real quick. Uh, Tanger with a four, Schultz with a three, so that line produced very well. You also see the way with uh, both of them ended up with over 40 points on the season. Not bad for the two of those guys, Latang and Schultz. Those are a really good line together. I like seeing them working together. And we're going to take a quick check at goaltending. 2.27 uh, and 2.86. Rough season for Jake Allen. Um, rough season, honestly, for both of our goaltenders. A 9.16, I know that went up, and a 9.03 also went up. So, not bad. Scrivens ends the season with five shutouts. Not too bad. Um, will it show the awards right now, or do we have to wait? I think we have to wait for that. Okay, well, let's sim a little bit, and let's uh, figure out who won the cup and all that fun stuff. If I can go to the right screen. Okay, I'm having some issues. There it is, calendar. Jesus. I'm just going to sim to... I'm just going to go see if there's any month that actually has a, uh, a thing. Oh, here we go. This seems important. NHL entry draft. Let's go straight up to the draft. Why not? We'll stop the simming. Oh, yes, it has. Actually, now that the regular season has ended, I would like to look at playoff trees. Can I see the playoff tree? Sorry, I'm killing a lot of time with just, you know, looking at stats and stuff. I know... I'd like to get to the uh, postseason also, but at the same time, I'd like to look at some of these stats. So let's get that playoff tree. Playoff favorite is the St. Louis Blues. That's because they won the... Oh, we actually simmed a few days in. St. Louis is already one down to Colorado. Um, Carolina, Philly, Rangers, Boston, Toronto and Florida, and Tampa and the Islanders. Then we have LA and Nashville. Arizona, Anaheim, St. Louis, Colorado, and Minnesota and Dallas. So not a single of the one of these matchups actually match the current playoffs. I'm not sure if that's good or not. And I'm just going to keep simming until the playoffs are over. So let's just get right into it. Go to June. And we're going to sim the day before the NHL entry draft. I feel like we might have some potential trade offers, seeing as, you know, we have basically the Connor McDavid pick. Um, assuming, I don't know if the draft lottery is in this, considering it took up time to just get the draft in. I doubt the draft lottery is in here. That You know, they might have surprised everybody and put it in. But, uh, I don't know, I just have a hard time seeing that being a thing. So, we're just gonna, you know, wait for it, sim through. And, uh, just gonna talk about plans for the offseason for this team. Um... Basically, the two positions that I see are the most important are we need a second line center, which I'm hoping could be Jay Sadel. Um, we also need a second line right wing. I really want to bolster up that second line. Other than Perron, it's very weak, and I very much like Perron. I don't want to trade him away like Edmonton did in real life. I want to keep him on the team, and in order to do that, we need a supporting cast for him. So the idea behind that is that we pick up, you know, hopefully Dreisaitl comes up, he'll be good. Um, 
you know, hopefully we can find ourselves a good right winger. But my main priority is a starting goaltender. You know, I didn't... It's nothing against Scrivens, but he just doesn't quite have what we're looking for. So, yeah, it's honestly nothing against Ben Scrivens, but we need a goaltender that can carry us into the future. And with Scrivens being 28, he'll be 29 by next season, that's not a future goaltender. I mean, there are obviously some that age, but they're also, you know, they've considered themselves and they've set themselves up as the franchise goaltender where Ben Scrivens really didn't. I don't know if Jake Allen can be that guy. I still don't quite have faith in Jake Allen. Um, I don't know. It's going to be tough. We're going to have to really play this one by ear. And the Minnesota Wild won the Stanley Cup. I would like to see this. Stop the simulation. The salary cap. All right. 70 million. Max player, 14.1. I doubt we're going to sign anyone that much. All right. I am very curious to look and see the playoff tree. The Minnesota Wild won it. That is interesting. Not who I expected to see come out on top. I will not lie to you. So Minnesota goes 4-2. Colorado takes out... Wow, Colorado took out St. Louis in seven. Uh, Toronto swept Florida. I'm um, not really sure I should be surprised about that. The Rangers made it to the cup. All right, I'm not really too surprised about that. And wow, Minnesota. Damn, that is interesting. I, I didn't really see that one coming, honestly. Uh, let's see who led the way. Who was that team MVP for Minnesota? Can I just go entire league? There we go. Nino Niederreiter. All right, the youngster. 10 goals. Vanek with 14, I see right there. So they were, they were definitely a scoring juggernaut. Joffrey Lupel with 12, even though he was taken out. Nino Niederreiter with 10. Parise. All right, wow. The point leader, yep, it is Niederreiter. So I'm going to go out and assume that he won the... Uh, Whatever that trophy's called. Art Ross goes to Matt Duchesne. Okay. Hey, Matt Duchesne wins the Art Ross, the Hart. The Norris goes to Petrangelo. Lady Bing again goes to Duchesne, who clearly had himself a killer season for Colorado. The Calder goes to Kuznetsov for Washington. Colin Smythe goes to Nicholas Backstrom. Wow. The Vesna goes to Brian Elliott for St. Louis. No surprise there. The Jennings also goes to Brian Elliott. The Masterson will see it go to Jared Cohen. Okay. The Selkie goes to Pavel Datsuk. Okay, good for him, I guess. Ted Lindsay, we see Matt Duchesne. The Rocket Richard. <laughs> Ovechkin, wow. That's a shocker. I didn't see that one coming. And team awards the Stanley Cup. The Minnesota Wild. St. Louis Blues with the Presidents. The Campbell goes to Minnesota, and the Prince of Wales goes to the Rangers. All right, that's pretty much the season recap. I'm just going to sim it up to the day of the draft, and then I'm going to end it here because we're looking to be close to 20 minutes. That's kind of where I like to keep these episodes. So simulate up to this day, and in the next episode, we will see the draft. We'll see all that fun stuff. The off season is the next episode. I'm really excited. This is probably my favorite time of the year in any game. So, I look forward to that. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. My name is Sir MC Coy. This is the Edmonton Oilers rebuild, because God knows we need to rebuild. Um, all right, you want me to edit my trade block? Cool. I'm definitely... Andrew France is on my trade block. I'm definitely going to put that first round pick up there, because having the first overall pick could really, really get interesting. <laughs> um, so I'm putting that there. And then I'm um, also, are there any players that I really want to put there? I don't believe so. All right, they haven't done player progressions because Jay Sadel is still a 75. Um, I like Boyd Gordon. He could be a good depth guy for us. Uh, I'm going to throw a pulley out there, see what happens with that. And I guess I'll keep Ferentz. Um, My wants aren't very specific. Cool. Sounds good to me. All right, so that is updated. And in the next episode, we will see the NHL draft. So thank you again for watching. My name is Sir MC Coy. Uh, subscribe if, you have, if you're new to the channel. 
leave a like and comment what you want to see us do with that first overall pick. You know, we could go with Connor McDavid. We could trade it down. There are a lot of options that could happen with that first overall pick. Comment what you think we should do. Thank you, guys.